A full history of LV-223. Around 2,000 years ago, the engineer race established a permanent residence on LV-223, constructing temples upon hangars and storage bays on the small moon of LV-223. At some point, these temples were used to help initiate a plan to wipe out humanity for reasons yet unknown by the release of a pathogenic AI substance. However, they apparently lost control of it, and this led to the engineers there to become sick and die off. Multiple surviving engineers pre preserved themselves using the hypersleep pods aboard one of their ships. Four of them took refuge within these hypersleep chambers, but only one of them survived. The others seem to have strange bursts where their chest should be. We do know, however, that there were a few others scattered across the planet, in different hypersleep pods, on ships, and within the temples. In the year 2089, an expeditionary team from Earth saw archaeologists Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway discover a star map among several unconnected ancient cultures within a cave during their exploration of the Isle of Skye. They interpreted this as an apparent invitation from the engineers themselves, which they believed to be the creators of mankind. Shaw then contacted Peter Wayland, the elderly CEO of the Wayland Corporation, for a proposal to gain funds for an expeditionary team to follow the star map to its source Wayland agreed, and with this proposal, he funded the creation of the scientific vessel, the USCSS Prometheus, to follow this map, which led them to the moon of LV-223. Years later, in 2093, after the Prometheus mission had finished its two-year voyage, the ship landed safely on LV-223. The Prometheus crew explored the moon's surfaces, where they came across the engineer's temple and the underground structures that lie beneath. The crew entered the structure and discovered the bodies of some engineers, as well as several unusual urn-like containers that stored the pathogenic mutagen AI. The crew's interference caused the pathogen stored within the urns to escape. This was due to the atmospheric disturbances created by entering the temples, and in specific, the headroom where most of these urns were stored. The reason that it occurred this way is because the room had been sealed for close to 2,000 years. The, slight, the sudden change in atmospheric conditions within the room caused the urns to decay and leak out. A few members were exposed to this pathogen, and in the ensuing chaos, most were killed but not before killing many others. The android David successfully found the last living engineer and informed Wayland, who was secretly aboard the ship the entire time in a stasis pod. He intended to make contact with the engineers, hoping that their advanced technology could satisfy his obsession with searching for immortality. Wayland and his team went to the engineer's ship to commune with the last engineer. However, upon waking, the engineer decapitated David after making a brief after making brief conversation and killed Waylon along with the entire party, save Shaw, who managed to escape the carnage. The engineer reactivated his ship and headed and set a course for Earth to carry out his original plan to wipe out the human race. The remaining crew later sacrificed themselves and the Prometheus to destroy the engineer's ship. The ship, however, was not destroyed, but severely damaged and crashed upon the moon's surface, most likely rupturing and spilling most of the pathogenic urns, which leaked out and eventually transformed the ecosystem of this barren moon completely in the years to come. After this, the angered engineer survived and attacked shore within the lifeboat of the Prometheus. Shaw released a creature called the Trilobite that they had accidentally created 
on the engineer, resulting in his death, but not before he could be impregnated by the creature. Shaw recovered David's remains from the crashed engineer's ship, and the two both activated another engineer's ship and left LV-223 for the engineer homeworld. In the crashed lifeboat, the impregnated engineer died, birthing a deacon creature. In the years that followed, the escaped mutagen from the crashed ship spread throughout the moon, turning the quite primitive life on this moon into an extensive and vast ecosystem that developed with only, within only decades. Put in basic terms, it accelerated the development of the world's ecosystem and the native organisms that lived there. Just shy of a hundred years after the Prometheus incident, a xenomorph outbreak took place on another one of the Kalupmos moons, LV-426. The creatures had been stored away in egg form aboard another engineer vessel that crashed there long ago. The creatures proceeded to wreak havoc on a native human terraform terraforming colony known as Hadley's Hope. During this chaos, a group of colonists fled in haste aboard a cargo freighter. They didn't realise until much later that they had unwittingly brought several xenomorph stowaways with them. Because of the ship's minimal flight range, the colonists were forced to set down on the sister moon LV-223. The xenomorphs on board the cargo ship subsequently massacred and escaped the colonist ship. About 40 years later, a second human vessel, the Grayon, arrived at LV-223 as a part of a documentary film expedition. With the ulterior motive of the expedition's captain, Angela Foster, to discover the fate of Peter Wayland and the Prometheus. Setting down on the moon in a number of smaller ships, the team was almost immediately besieged by xenomorphs. And the situation was transforming. The situation was further complicated by an infection of a construct known as Eldon. Eldon was injected by one of the other crew with the mutagen, transforming his synthetic organic body into a form of an engineer hybrid organism, which developed an empathic link with the xenomorphs. Soon after, a hunting party of Yaucha arrived in the system drawn to the chaos and ambushed the new crew, destroying their ships and stranding the remaining humans on LV-223. The conflicts between the different species continued to escalate, during which two of the surviving engineers were awakened from stasis and began attacking the other groups, intent on continuing their mission to wipe out humanity. Eventually, one of the two engineers was killed and only four humans remained alongside a Yaucha. Ahab, who formed an alliance with them. The five individuals braved the Xenomorphs and the rogue Elden for a time, until they managed to reach a temporary safe distance, after which they set up an encampment until possible rescue. Weeks after these events, five, the five survivors are once again caught up in a life and death struggle against a group of warring Xenomorphs, Yauchas, and Engineers. And that's basically all we have on the history and storyline of LV-223 in canon. With Disney's possible purchase of the Alien franchise, I do not know how long these Dark Horse comics are going to be canon for. Obviously, all the movies shall remain canon as far as I'm aware, but these comics and books, they may not stay canon forever. So basically this is what we've got for now and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with everything we're doing here on the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to... I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.